As a result of conscious leadership, I've noticed a big change in how I manage the team and what I can get from individuals in the team. My approach is much more personalized to the individual and what I've found is I've got a heck of a lot more out of the team members as a result of that approach. Traditionally, my feeling is that the company has been very good at process, tool and an analytical approach to problem solving. And this adds the human dimension to it. Conscious leadership is going to make a huge impact to Cisco and I think it is already with a small amount of people that have already um, graduated. That movement's really growing and uh, the effect is rippling throughout the organisation. We have a scenario certainly in, in, in Cisco where you know, we may before have, have, have looked at a little bit of a blame culture and, and looked above us and said actually you know this is all their fault it's not it's, it's nothing to do with us this allows us to take a t just a different perspective and work more closely whether, it, whether it's a senior leadership team or with one another with their peers and find that find a better common ground and actually find a better way of getting things done so i think that in itself is a, is a big impact for us as an organization conscious leadership brings a depth of trust and understanding between groups and individuals that i've never experienced before within a workplace it's a real experience-based program that will get you to understand yourselves and the people you work with and the way you interact with people in a completely different way. It is the most dramatically life-changing course that you can do from a, from a business education perspective. Uh, it also impacts on your personal life, I think, because it forces you to confront aspects of your personality. Conscious leadership allows us to step back uh, and take a holistic view as to what we're doing as an organisation, as leaders within this organisation.